Raihan, everyone's seemingly favorite new gym leader and strong contender to be the next champion as he seems to be a good rival with Leon and also has a really strange combination of Pokemon that he uses in his first gym battle. Now Raihan is recognized as the strongest gym leader in Galar of course but is also on a losing streak against Leon of 0 to 10. So perhaps a restructuring of his team could benefit him and perhaps making him the new champion. Now Raihan as a trainer strives to find victory in every environment and as a result of that has found a battle style which is quite unique where he uses weather effects to their fullest so we'll keep that in mind when making his team he is however a dragon type specialist who ends up only having half of his first four pokemon in his first battle actually be dragon types now this i think in one sense is a logical choice since otherwise you could sweep his whole team with just a single fairy type however in his rematch as well as during the windham battle he gains some different pokemon to his team so I thought we could take a look at what his team would look like if he was a champion in Pokemon Sword and Shield and we could put together the best team for Raihan. Now something that has to be kept in mind with this specific team is that Raihan in his normal situation is a Dragon type specialist. That would imply mainly using Dragon type Pokemon, whereas someone like Leon however, who is the champion at the current time, uses a team of more variety in terms of typing. So in the first battle against Raihan in the Hammerlock Stadium for the Gym Challenge, you got yourself a Raihan that only has four Pokemon. Now these Pokemon are the following. You've got Gigalith at level 46, running the ability Sandstream, as well as the moves Stealth Rock, Sand Tomb, Rock Blast, and Body Press. Next up, you've got Flygon, running the ability Levitate, and then Thunder Punch, Breaking Swipe, Crunch, Steel Wing. And then you have yourself Sandaconda at level 46, with the ability Sand Spite, running Protect, Glare, Fire Fang, and earth power. Last but not least you have Duraldon with the ability heavy metal, the level 48, it's got the moves breaking swipe, body press, stone edge and iron head. Overall a pretty underwhelming team at first glance and not a team that I think has a lot to offer but it does change a little bit when you go to the second battle where Raihan's team does change quite a bit. The second battle, Raihan is in the Winden Stadium and he runs five Pokemon and it has actually changed out a few Pokemon this time around. So what does he have now? Well, he's got Torkoal at level 53, running the ability Drought, and he's got Lava Plume, Body Press, Solar Beam, and Yawn on it. Next up, you've got Gudra, which is level 54, running the ability Sap Sipper, and has Rain Dance, Surf, Thunder, and Muddy Water. And already here, you can really just tell that you can see the whole environmental style he likes to go for by utilizing the environment to his advantage. Next up you've got Turtonator at level 54, running the ability Shell Armor, and then Sunny Day, Dragon Pulse, Shell Trap, and Fire Blast. Next up you've got Flygon once again, which is level 54, running the ability Levitate once again, and then has Sandstorm, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Crunch. And finally we have Duraldon once again, at level 55, running the ability Light Metal, as well as the moves Dragon Claw, Body Press, Stone Edge, and Iron Head. Overall this is an improvement upon Raihan's team if you compare it to the previous one he had in his first battle. Now we do have one more team and this is his final team which is essentially pretty much the same team as the one we just took a look at and this one is when you take him on again at Winden and I've got to point out that this is when you take on the championship tournament and he pretty much runs the same team just higher levels and pretty much the same movesets. So yeah that's basically what you've got yourself from Raihan. So, the first and most familiar Pokemon we have for Raihan is this Duraldon. Now, within the actual games, there is something interesting about Duraldon. In all battles, Raihan will Gigantamax his Duraldon at the first opportunity. So, we're going to keep that in mind when actually making this one. So, here's the thing. This Duraldon would be somewhat different from the one he has in-game, but also kind of similar. It would also be a Gigantamax Duraldon, as the one in the game is, but as for the moveset, this is where we would change a few things and make it more of a heavy hitter Pokemon that would go for the wrecking of everything in his path. Of course, with the ability Light Metal on it uh, for that half weight, and then Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, plus Draco Meteor for those heavy hits. And of course, we're going to keep Stealth Rocks on it as they can come in really handy. Now, this wouldn't be the first Pokemon that Raihan would perhaps send out when the battle starts, but would perhaps be the Pokemon that he send out when it's time to deal the maximum havoc upon his enemy. However, the Pokemon that he might actually start up with is the next one. Now that Pokemon, which he may start up with first, is Torkoal. Now in Sword and Shield, Raihan uses Torkoal in the Windham battle, and honestly, it doesn't really bode that well as it runs Lava Plume, Body Press, Gyro Ball, and Solar Beam. I can see kind of what the whole point there was, but I think we can do this a little bit differently. So I thought we could change it into something 
a little different, right? Let's make Torkoal into something more of a viable utility Pokemon, as well as the perfect Pokemon to set up for several problems for the enemy to deal with, right? So going for Stealth Rocks in case he doesn't start up with, you know, his Duraldon, this way you've got Torkoal to do it as well. And then on top of that, the move Yawn, as it's a good move in case Raihan's team starts running into trouble. And since this Torkoal would have Heat Rock, he could have a massive use for Sunny Day, but we're not gonna go for that. Instead, we're gonna have Drought on it, as this ability will come in really handy and handle that job. So you can then instead have moves like Lava Plume come in handy, as well as Rapid Spin. So yeah, there you go. Pretty balanced Pokemon, should be pretty useful, and also plays into the whole idea of Raihan being a trainer who likes to use the environment to his advantage. And with Drought on this thing, you should be able to kind of pull that sort of thing off. So yeah, I think this is a Pokemon that fits really well into Raihan's team, and definitely one that should stay on his team, even after the whole Wyndham battle. So, there you go. Let's go to the next one. Now, next up is Gudra. Now, this Pokemon is where Raihan doesn't have many options, besides setting up for Rain Dance and then going for Thunder, which again plays into the whole idea of him being a trainer who utilizes every aspect of the environment to his advantage. Now, you can also run Sludge Bomb included on this Pokemon for its overall strength, as well as Draco Meteor. And of course, we can have a Citrus Berry just in case. Overall, this was the hardest Pokemon to find a general usefulness for, but it doesn't seem like, it does seem like a Pokemon that should remain on Raihan's team overall, and can still come in pretty handy and do some great work, I feel like. And again, it does play into the whole idea of him being a trainer that wants to utilize the environment to his fullest extent and try to win through the use of that. However, the next Pokemon is one that's a little bit harder to work around with. We have ourselves a Flygon, a staple of Raihan's shifting teams. Now, the Flygon that he would be using here could be a Choice Banded Glass Cannon that would have U-Turn in case of it being needed to escape a bad situation. However, it should be a hit hard and very fast with overall good speed in this type of Pokemon, and on top of that, the moveset which has Earthquake, Outrage, and Aerial Ace in it, you've basically got yourself a great combination for a hard-hitting Pokemon with good speed, and of course, a high chance to get taken out quickly, you know, which is kind of the thing with the Glass Cannon Pokemon, right? It can be really useful, do a lot of damage, be a really, really good heavy hitter, but when it comes down to surviving, it's gonna be really, really hard. However, I think Flygon is a staple of Raihan's team. It's a Pokemon that seems to fit him really well, and a Pokemon that I think he really should keep. The only issue, again, is that fact that it is a glass cannon. However, I think that's not a problem. It's a good Pokemon that can come in really handy and be really, really useful. So, let's go to the next one. So next up is the tank of the team, also known as Gigalith. Now, this bulky boy is running weakness policy, so you'd be aiming to have his weakness policy triggered, as would make his attack and special attack increased by loads, and mixing this with sturdy would make him quite a force to be reckoned with. This is the tank of the team, essentially, and can take the most hits and basically the most moves. Now, as for his moveset, he would have Heavy Slam, Super Power, and Rock Slide, as he can dish out a lot of damage with that back onto the enemy, if he of course has the weakness policy triggered. And of course, including protect to make this Pokemon stay on his toes, in case it needs the extra protection, so to say, right? So, honestly, Gigalith, another Pokemon that seems to be a bit of a staple of Raihan's team, is a Pokemon that I feel like he should keep, as it will come in really, really handy. And finally, we have ourselves a Pokemon that Raihan actually never uses, but that I think he would be a big fan of and that is Dracovish, the Pokemon that stunned the world when its strength was showcased. So, what kind of moveset and stuff would you run on this beautiful little creature? Well, he would start off with Choice Scarf and the ability Strong Jaw, because of all of the benefits that come from having those when you mix them with the move Vicious Rend. The Choice Scarf would increase Dracovish's speed by 1.5, and then the Strong Jaw would increase the attack power of bite-based moves by 1.5 as well, and since Fish's Rend is a bite move, you can mix the two together, and he has himself a very strong little monster. Then, of course, you can yeet on top of that Crunch and Psychic Fangs, just in case you can also have Outrage as well. Overall, a great Pokemon that Raihan perhaps never did use, but that I think he would love to have on his team if he had the opportunity to showcase it. So, I think it's a perfect Pokemon for him to have. 
So yeah, there you go, that is the best team for Raihan with only the inclusion of a single new Pokemon that he doesn't use within Sword and Shield games. So what are your thoughts on it, and would you like to see this team used by yours truly in a Wi-Fi battle for a video? Uh, if you want to see that, then comment down below, hashtag Raihan Wi-Fi, and you can expect to see a video of a Wi-Fi battle where I use this team. Also, feel free to suggest any other trainers or gym leaders or characters that you want to see me do best teams slash what if they were champion videos on and I will do so. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe for future videos and I will catch you all in the next video. Have a great day and bye bye.